we're back. Feeling a little good today. Today's one of those great days. I'm going to talk about defense. You know, I'm a defensive coach, and the one thing I do love is defense. The defense that I present as a defensive coordinator is a three-down lineman. We have two linebackers and two alternate what they call rover positions. And the two rover positions are basically two good linebackers that can come can cover outside and have enough what they say oomph in the tail to where they can bring up, you know, come down the alley. That yard is in between the numbers and the hash. So when you have those two rovers, that takes away that need for a defensive end. That's what your tackles are for. Now the beginning process of it all is to start at the defensive line. When you're starting at the defensive line and you have your three defensive linemen, you put your nose tackle in what they call a zero technique. You can put him head up over the center or you can put him in either A gaps. It all depends upon the play. Now your two tackles, their job basically is to be in the B gap. Sit in that B gap right between that guard and that tackle and make them make a choice on if they're gonna double team block the guy or if they're gonna let him just play straight up and they're gonna to try to double down on the center. Now this where I kinda of goes, that's why I don't need a defensive end. Because with my two linebackers, oh, let me not jump ahead, the two positions as far as the two tackles their job basically is to sit in that B gap, not go through the gap, but control the line. And the main objection for controlling the line is don't burst through the hole trying to be a hero. Because if you burst through the hole, that gives the tackle and the guard an opportunity to come off and go to the next level. So you have to have some really good athletes and disciplined players to play this defense. It's a really good defense, and what it does, it eliminates having an extra big guy out there. I'm not saying big guys are not good, but in the way they run offenses now is you need quick guys out there to cover quick guys. And yeah, you have a lot of running teams, but with the three defensive linemen that are down, that are down linemen, they cover up all of the running as far as you have a, uh, let's say they have a, a dive play. Okay then, we can use our tendencies to read the dive play and we can set our tackles either slant to the right, slant to the left, to, to cover that dive play. And as well, it'll help the linebackers out in moment and tremendously because what it does is it keeps the linebackers free to make plays, okay? Now, Explaining the, uh, the last two parts about the tackle. In run, in run plays, like I said, the tackle's main job is not to go through to be a hero, but his job is to set that edge. And the way you can set that edge is you don't always have to be on the outside to set the edge. You can be right there in the gap and do the same thing as far as setting the edge. Now, this is the first opportunity I'm going to talk about the defense and give you a clear understanding of what the defense is. It's built for the game that we play today. You know, we don't play the game downhill hard no more because a lot of it is passing. We have 100 passing camps. I've never been to one running camp. They're there, but we, we're driven towards the more fast game now. So, in this first video, which is a five-minute video, and I try to keep the sections at five minutes, we talked about the defensive linemen, the, their responsibilities, and what they're supposed to do. In ending, I'll give you a synopsis of everything. The nose tackle, which is the guy who sits in the A-gap, both A-gaps, and zero technique over the center, that's his responsibility. The two tackles, they'll be in what they call a shaded three to a shaded four or head up over the tackle, shooting for the B gap, okay? And in this end, that's what we have, what they call a three down lineman. All right, we'll come to the next part of it in the next section. We'll put up and we'll start talking about responsibilities of the linebackers. 
uh, the defensive um, rovers and their responsibility inside the defense. This is Coach Hamburger. We'll be back in the next section.